Hey guys, I'm Amarjun Shade. So normally I publish a lot about data and technology, but this time I wanted to publish something a bit more personal because um, I have experienced this and I see many experiencing this useless judgments, useless guidance, and often useless and irreparable damage done to you psychologically as well as emotionally by people who you really don't want it from. So <clears throat> one point to everyone out there, I want to say something that do not give advice or any recommendations to people unless they ask you for it. You don't know what a person has to go through from the inside. You don't know what their challenges they're facing. You don't know what kind of life they're living. So unless they tell you all about it, then you can only give a judgment. Even if they are close friends, family members, and even if you think you know, you do not know because you're not in their shoes. You'd never know about it unless they describe it to you properly. So unless they ask, don't give. Second point that um, if you're concerned about someone, then rather than making a judgmental question that they're not doing anything with their lives or how are they wasting their lives, it would be better to ask, how can we help you? You need a job. Let me see if I let me, do you want me to go talk to my friends or anyone to help you get one? Do you have any problems? Should I look into people who can help you with them? Do you need something which I can help you with? If so, I'll be willing to support you. These are the kind of things people would really want to hear. And um, if you feel that they have problems related to how they do their job or what they've done at work, that's their own problem. Look, no one is perfect. Neither is anyone free of fault, whether it's one person or whether it's some many million other people. And end of the day, no one is perfect and no one is imperfect. Everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. But giving judgmental sentences on people or judgmental remarks on people that they don't have any brains or they don't have any thinking or are they really up to the mark as people compared to others around them? Do you think that's really going to help them and rather not demotivate them further and destroy them further? So instead say, how can you help them with it? That's the better thing way to approach it. And third thing, fat shaming people or racially shaming people. You see someone playing out in the sun and you see them getting dark. You call them, let's say, you start calling them dark colored and dark skinned and try to imply that they're inferior, even though there's nothing inferior about that. But and then when you see people oversized with weight or body fat, you call them, you call calling them names or fat shame them. You think that's really going to help them and rather not destroy them from the inside. Do you think people want to be fat out of choice? Even I'm chubby and fat many ways. But that doesn't mean out of choice. I do struggle with my own problems. It's not like I don't. Just because I look very happy doesn't mean I can actually be happy from the inside. I'm not seeing, saying I'm just that one. I, there could be millions, billions more people out there who think the same. So rather than uh, trying to give call people by names or telling them they need to work on their routines or telling them that they have problems they need to deal with, ask them how can they help, how you can help them. If you see someone struggling with obesity, try to ask them if they need any help or try to say that if they don't lack any certain resources or food, how can you help them with that? Those are things that would be rather more beautiful or better ways to help people rather than just calling them names or labeling them as certain like people with certain body characteristics because they really don't help anyone. All that you do is mentally destroy people. And, and if you lead them towards doing committing suicide or committing any kind of self-harm, you are a murderer then. You are not a, their hero or savior by giving them those judgments. You are committing a murder. Okay? Destroying someone is never a good thing. Or attacking them mentally or even as a joke, it's not a good thing. But understanding them and trying to help them will take you many ways ahead with them. That's just something I want to give from my experience, who I also know many also others also out who suffer the same out there. Okay, signing off.